I've been seeing a lot of videos about alcohol stove pot stands. Everybody's got some great ideas. Um, I mean, I haven't seen one that doesn't work. I guess if they don't work, people don't put them on YouTube, right? <laughs> but um, my, the way I, I hadn't seen anybody do it the way I do it. So, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, maybe it's just so simple that maybe it's just so simple people don't think of it. But I know everybody, everybody's used one of these propane cookers. Man, they got the best pot stand in the world on them. Of course, you can't take it off, and you certainly can't pack it in the woods with you. But I incorporated this same philosophy here into my alcohol stoves, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Of course, the first thing I had to do was find material to make it out of. Of course, I'm not going to use steel, but I found this aluminum bar. It, it, uh, I got it at Lowe's. It comes like in a three-foot section. It's, I don't remember. It's been so long ago since I bought it. I think it's probably three or four dollars. But anyway, it's the same same thickness, same height as this material, but nowhere near the weight. When I make a pot stand, there's a few tools I need. One, of course, is the aluminum bar, a sharpie, a file, a little ruler, some needle nose pliers to get the piece of aluminum out that I'm cutting, and of course, to cut it, I need a hacksaw. Of course, the first thing I do is whatever stove it is I want to make the pot stand for. I um, like maybe it's this Miller Lite alcohol stove I made. I just get your bar laid across, determine where you know how, how wide you want it, cut it there, make another piece the exact same length. Ah, I'll just show you one. This is like like this is what I made. if you can see it. Maybe you can see how I cut the notches in the aluminum bar just to slide into one another and then my cutouts for the perimeter of the stove just fit on like that. Easy. And you really can use the same idea just about any stove you have. I, I, made, it, I made them all different sizes. That, Maybe that one, maybe that one. Um, if you find yourself in a situation where maybe your uh, your notches don't fit the particular stove you have, if you're a little more careful, you can just turn it upside down with no with no notches. You know, um, instead of it being notched down, just turn it upside down, and you can place it on that. You just have to be a little more careful when you're when you're uh, you know when you're cooking because the the pot stand could slide off. Of course, you don't have to limit it to only alcohol stoves. I have a variety of hobo stoves I like to use, and I've made some for that too. I uh, I like to cook with wood when it's when I can. Um, but you talk about trying to find a pot stand for that. That's uh, what I did here. Same same thing, just made it bigger. Good thing about using these these size cans though is once you can rust out. This you can keep this and use it on several different things. I can use it on that. Um, that's my newer one I made. And even if you got into this rocket stove thing that people, I don't know, kind of a fad a couple years ago. But I tell you what, I mean it's a lot. It's a pain in the butt making one. And I can't really cook food on it, man. That thing, that thing, that thing gets hot. But uh, it will boil water fast. But you, same pot stand. I can put that on there. It works. Once that thing gets going, that boils quick. <laughs> I guess another thing I wanted to show, I guess what really sparked my uh, interest to do the video is I was watching some videos about pot stands for this type of alcohol stove. So I just kind of utilized the same, same idea I had with my alcohol stoves to this. And just made a little bitty one. It fits right on there. Of course, you could do you could make this um, longer if you wanted to, but this packs good in my same little bag I carry my this stove in. But I usually don't. I mean, I'm usually not boiling any more water than that. That elevates it above the flame. 
good enough to boil quick um, and it serves the purpose there I um, sometimes I I got I just have this little windscreen I use around it sometimes there's always the option of not even using the pot stand I guess if you if you don't have one maybe you have maybe you carry some of these aluminum tent pegs in your kit to tie your tarp down or your tent or whatever but you could also just use these as a pot stand yeah it takes a little tweaking to get them all level but if you don't have anything else That'll always work. Hey, I told you at the beginning that they were simple ideas, right? I think they are. Man, I mean, you got a hacksaw, you can do it. I guess one thing I will say about those alcohol stoves, though, it's a good idea when you're in the middle of the winter time when it's snowy or icy outside. You probably ought to keep your fuel warm, and if you you do that thing with the tent pegs like I did over there, you probably should put some kind of barrier between the stove and the ground. Because for me, it seems that the colder it is, the harder it is for those alcohol stoves to get primed and get going good. So if you can keep the stove warm, keep it warm. And I don't mean hot, I just mean body heat warm and your fuel warm, you have a lot better success at getting a boil qu quick. Well, I got. I never wanted to be a how-to channel or nothing like that. I'm not telling anybody how to, you know, I'm not telling you that this is the only way. I'm just, it's just my way. I thought I'd share it with you guys. As usual, thanks for tuning in. See ya.